Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the first two weeks of November. So November 1st through the 14th for Aquarius. I'm just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. Try and pick them up. I had to get my nails taken off today. So what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for... Oh, there it is. Synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are just are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they are being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. So that you are being guided. There are situations in people that are showing up. There's no such thing as coincidence. Make sure you are highly aware of that at this time. Um, some, there's a situation that you are being put in that is out of your character. or per, It's not something you're used to, okay? Um, this situation was put into your path so that you uh, could learn from it or grow with it. It's about growth. This is an opportunity for growth. Don't delay. Don't doubt it. Don't procrastinate because you're not familiar with it. Just go with it. This is like a sudden appearance, okay? So whether it's a person or it's a situation, it happens, it comes out of the blue. And you're like, what the hell? You know, that kind of thing. And it's an opportunity to do something that you've never done before. So that's very interesting. So what do we have for Aquarius? Really, really, really pay attention to the signs. You're going to be getting a lot of them in the next two weeks. And remember that there is no such thing as coincidence. Grounding. Go deep. Explore your roots. So we're going to go ahead and read that card. This is about grounding. Grounding yourself. I like to read these. Go deep. Explore your roots. Take time to ground yourself in what is truly essential. Remember what's important in life and let go of everything else. Let go of the busyness and the frantic pace of life. Be present in the moment. Release the flurry of worry about the future or the rehashing of the past. This is a time to engage and reflect. It might be worth taking a second look at something you previously passed over. So maybe it's time for you to take a look, a second look at something. You know, maybe it, maybe it's coming back around. That probably is the case. Um, things may not always be as they seem. Look deeper into the situations and relationships in your life. Explore your roots. Something that seems closed may in fact be just ready to open. If you go beneath the surface, you may find hidden gems of truth, light, or abundance. Sometimes the voyage, the voyage is fraught with the activity of so many places to go and things to do that personal energy gets scattered. It's during those times that the sacred traveler needs to ground their energy. Grounding can be simply a matter of leaning against a tree and imagining yourself reaching into the roots and up to the branches. This card can also mean you need to stand up for yourself. Don't back down. Stand up for those who can't protect themselves. Believe in yourself. Hold firm to what you know to be true. You're like the ancient oak with its roots deep in the earth. You are noble, valiant, and strong. So you do need to get grounded. You are very strong. Some, it feels like something is coming back around. You're going you're gonna to get signs of whatever this is. Um, 
and you may need to look a little bit deeper at a situation okay look really really deep look below the surface um, so what do we have for Aquarius what I keep hearing is just go for it so I'm not sure how, what why but you must know just go for it whatever it is two cards Page of Cups, Reverse, High Priestess. So this is an inner knowing. This is unrequited love, a situation you don't love, or there's some sort of uh, rejection, maybe? There could be a rejection. Page of Cups, Reverse, is naive. Uh, not good news, right? The Page of Cups, Reverse, is not the best news. You may need to be more playful. You may have your heart set on somebody that is... Uh, literally unavailable. This person is emotionally unavailable. Okay, I feel like this is not the best news. You may be dealing with somebody that isn't emotionally available. Okay, um, high priestess. That is that is knowing. That is following your intuition, uh, reflecting on something, thinking about something, observing, taking time to observe. You may have somebody around you that is interested in you and you're, you're just watching them, right? You're watching their behavior. You're watching their moves. You're not really sure. I think your intuition probably can see right through them, okay? I think you definitely have somebody around you that isn't all that they are cracked up to be. Um, and I think that you probably know that. You could be dealing with somebody that is insincere. This person is insincere, okay? They're not honest about whatever it is that they're doing. Very immature as well. Six of Wands reversed. That's a fail of some sort. Not winning, fighting. A lot of fighting. There's some sort of fighting going on with somebody battling. There's another option, and I think that you you need to explore your options. I feel like your gut is telling you these are signs. Okay, you you are receiving signs that you should be looking at another that are, at another option. And I feel like you do have another option, but you have not been making much progress. You've, it's almost like you've been choosing to stay in a situation that is, I don't know, that page of cups reverse is loveless, you know. Um, but you could also have somebody coming into your life that is not emotionally available. Okay, this person is a loser. Okay, the, the six of wands reverse is a loser. Okay, this is somebody who gives up when the going gets tough. Um, you really, really, really should be exploring your options right now. Okay, you have many options. Make sure that you your eyes are wide open. Okay, and make sure you're listening to your gut. Okay, because I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is insincere. This person is very prideful, very smug, very cocky. Um, likes to fight. You know, it's interesting likes to blame everybody else for their shortfalls. Um, there's definitely some unwelcome news right here with both of these cards. There's some unwelcome news that you are going to be receiving from somebody. Um, you may sense that it is coming. The moon, all is not as it seems. I don't know if you're dealing with the Pisces. You could be. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Could be dealing with Cancer. Could be dealing with Taurus. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is pretty prominent here. All is not as it seems. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. Uh, somebody isn't telling the truth. Somebody is hiding something. You definitely have somebody that is hiding something. Somebody is hiding something from you. And you know it. You know, maybe it's this person has other options. You know, maybe they're exploring other options and they're hiding that from you. Now, the Hierophant is a card of faith. It's a card of, oh, believing, believing yourself. Again, believe in yourself. Listen, 
Listen to your gut, please. Your gut is really talking to you and you are going to be receiving a lot of signs. And I cannot reiterate that enough. So if I have to keep repeating myself, I will. You are going to be receiving a lot of signs in the next two weeks about somebody that you are dealing with that is not an honest person. This person um, is insincere. This person... Uh, is smug, okay, this person is um, all show, okay, you're dealing with somebody you, that is all show, okay, this is, they put off a, a grand illusion, and you know it, and you're gonna see it, you are gonna see it, so you're dealing with, and it's like God or a higher power is trying to show you something, and you've just been refusing to see, so that's very interesting, huh, um, now, this is a card of consequences. It is a card of choices. You have to make a choice based on your intuition. Uh, there is somebody that is hiding something, and you have to look very, very, very deep. Use your sixth sense. Use your intuition. Use your third eye. What does your first instinct say when you, when you question yourself about this person? That is your answer, okay? And you're going to rece be receiving other answers as well. Okay, so really, really, really pay attention. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is a teacher or somebody in uh, somebody you look up to. This could be somebody you look up to. Um, I don't know if it is. Um, hmm. Empress. Empress. Empress gives birth to a new life. She's very abundant. She's very beautiful. It's a time of growth. It's a time of fer fertility. Um, there is an opportunity to have a new life here. But you have to make it. This is a choice. This is a choice. You have, you have many options. You have a choice. You can choose to flirt with somebody that is all show. And doesn't have any staying power. Or, you know, the Empress, she's the pick of the litter. So if you are a female watching this, you may be being, somebody may be coming towards you and you need to be careful. You, this is protection. Okay. If you are the female watching this, they may, they may be trying to protect you. Okay. There, it does look like that is the case. But your free will plays a part. So this is very interesting. If you are the male watching this, I feel like, you have an opportunity for a commitment with a very loving female that is very valuable and can take very, 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 very good care of you. But you have to choose wisely. You have to choose wisely. I feel like uh, there's some sort of secrets. There is. There's secrets here that have been hidden uh, some it feels like somebody is communicating with you. This person is bad news, and you have a couple. Of, you have multiple options. Okay, this is multiple options. You have multiple choices. If you are the man watching this, the masculine energy, whether you whatever, if you're same sex, you figured out. If you are the masculine energy, you have a feminine here that has multiple options. Okay, this and the empress does. The empress is the the pick. Okay, she's the. Uh, tender love and care. Everybody loves her. She's gl she's glowing. Okay, she's beautiful. She's abundant. Everybody, you know, wants her love. Put it that way. Um, so this empress, whoever it is, whether it's you or or the feminine in your life, or one of the feminines in your life, because there's obviously more than one person here. Uh, there's one feminine here that is very valuable, and you know. Uh, has the ability to take very, very, very good care of you. But there's also one person here, one of your options that doesn't, okay? You got an option up there that uh, is very insincere. This person is insincere. They're emotionally unavailable. It's a one-hit wonder uh, who keeps secrets, okay? This is a secretive individual who is hiding something from you, and you know it, okay? So your gut is going to tell you something is up. 
Okay? It's going to be very clear. It is. And you may, you know, well, this is confusion, but I think you're going to have clarity. But you, whether you listen to your gut or not, is going to be your choice. Okay? That's going to be your choice. I think you have, you're in that. You're going to be presented with that choice. You're going to listen to your gut. You're going to go in with it with blind eye. This person may, may look really good. This person up here may, you know, um, have an image, you know, a, a good body image. Put it that way. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Yeah, there's usually problems that come with that. Anyhow, um, there are hidden forces here that are going to reveal something. Something is going to be revealed. Um, some the, the hangman reverse is is an individual that won't change, refusing. This is somebody that is obsessed with control not learning a lesson so we have somebody here that doesn't is not going to is refusing to learn any lessons this is somebody that is highly egotistical highly controlling will not change this person is uh, very 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 stubborn i also feel like we have some addictions here we may have somebody that has some addictions um this is struggling to let go. Struggling. Somebody is struggling to let go. Somebody may be struggling to let go of you. Or you may be struggling to let go of them. There, You know, this could be fear of change. It absolutely could be. You have another option here, Aquarius. This week, you will be put in a position to, cho to choose. I feel like you are being guided towards unconditional love, but you're, for some reason, you can't let go of something. Maybe you're codependent on somebody, you know? Maybe this person is very sexual, very sensual to you. Um, but you have another option. This one's even better. Maybe you just don't see it, okay? Uh, seriously. Um... This one's the whole package. That other one is just sex. Or just saying. You got, you got, you got, you got uh, sensuality over here. Very, very sexual energy. Very highly attractive. Over here you have attractive, sensual, and a homemaker. You know, this person will take care of everything. Everything. Whereas this other person will take care of your... Uh, sexual needs and leave this person whoever the other person is isn't really looking for a relationship they're not okay they're not looking to invest in a relationship so you have to choose wisely anyhow I don't know I don't know who this reading is for but I feel like you have multiple options this week these two weeks and uh, you are probably struggling to let go of somebody that is very uh, magnetic to you. It's like some sort of attraction, you know, that is, uh, you know, I feel like it's a sexual attraction. I'm just being honest with you. If this is a work, I don't think this is a work. There's no money here. This isn't about money. It's not. I mean, the Empress does have money, whoever this one is. This one is very abundant, very stable, um, isn't lacking. This is a hostess. She has plenty. Um, also very spiritual so we have a very spiritual individual over here that is one of your options this person could lead to marriage could lead to commitment or it could be a marriage it could be a commitment if you are the female watching this you have an opportunity you have options as well you have many options okay whoever the female is in this reading she has many 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 options okay and i feel like uh other uh, secrets and maybe maybe if you're the male watching this and you're dealing with a female you this female may have some secrets she has multiple options and she's probably exploring them and i'm telling you why you need to do some ex exploration in the next two weeks and really listen to the signs even even phones you know the dings and pay attention and 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 you know, really open your eyes to what is going on. Do not be naive. This is naive. And I think for some of you, you have been. Okay? You've been ignoring signs. You are definitely going to be getting some signs this week that show you uh, 
uh, they're going to reveal something. Somebody's been hiding something. And I feel like uh, there's going to be some consequences. So that's what I got. Good luck.